Hi everyone, so for today's video, I'm actually going to be trying out these three Prism Libre powders from Givenchy. Now, I picked this up recently when I went to Sephora in Champs-Élysées in Paris. Now, this is not the regular sized one, but this is like the smaller one. So I don't know if this is their uh, travel size or their tester size. I don't know, but when I just saw it like, you know, on display as I was like, you know, walking through the Givenchy um, counter, I said, ooh, at least it has a smaller size because I would prefer to try out new products in smaller sizes because if I don't like it, it's not as bad because if I have a full size of product and I don't like uh, you know, the effect that I have on my skin, it's going to be such a waste of money. Like, you know, and to me, money doesn't grow trees. So you have to be very, very careful with the products that you choose for yourself. But anyway, so the other thing that I would also like to try in this video is this Estee Lauder Double Wear um, foundation. This is in 3W2. Did I get the name right? Yeah, so it's in 3W2 and this is in Cashew. Now, as I've said in my haul video that this foundation is just a little bit too dark for me at the moment because if I had a tan deeper than what I have now, this will work for me even if the undertone of this foundation is um, yellow. So I'm sure when I apply this on my face, it might be a little bit too yellow for my taste, but like, you know, we're just playing around with makeup. And let me try to see if I could reignite, quote unquote, my tan using this foundation. Okay, so uh, first things first, I did wash my face. I also did tone my face. Now I skipped putting on moisturizer today because it's very hot and humid as we speak. Um, actually, when I left the Philippines back in May, there was a heat wave going on. So I don't know if the heat wave is still going on, but it's just actually very, very warm right now. And um, can you imagine this is how I look like? without moisturizer so that's how humid uh, the air is at the moment also one other thing let me say that i also did apply um this vmv hypoallergenics id monolorin gel so this one is like a mattifying kind of a gel cooling also and it's also a clarifying and a smoothing gel so i really like using this when the weather is like this because it just like you know keeps my oil glands at bay but it doesn't dry out my skin which i actually love and of course i have some sunscreen on and it's my favorite sunscreen my armada sport 70 also from vmb hyperallergenics this is a filipino brand but they're available on amazon so go check them out if you want to so anyway so after all of that blabbing i'm actually a little bit worried that this might not slide on my face because I don't have any moisturizer on and we know how gripping this Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation is. So let's start. So I'm just going to shake the product so that I can disperse it properly on my palette. All right. So I have some of the product now here on my palette. And by the way, my Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation doesn't come with a pump. And I was actually contemplating if I was going to buy an extra pump for this but I decided not to because the thing is with SA Lauder Double Wear Foundations um, they do dry out and they can clog out the pump head so when I'm working it actually takes me more time to um, like, you know get the product out from the bottle so at least with this like you know um, pump less bottle it's actually quite easy just to pour uh, the foundation um, into your palette but you just have to be very careful so that you don't pour everything out all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to apply this foundation i'm going to be using the sonia g um base one brush now the reason why i'm using this is because this is going to be discontinued and i'm just going to use this um like an in celebration of this brush okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to apply this foundation in areas where i usually get tan first so it's always on the forehead area and also to bronzer here on the cheekbones and here in the outer perimeters of my face and I'm just gonna buff everything in, in circular motions. Now the thing is, if you're using this foundation, you don't have a lot of play time with this because it just has a way of like, you know, setting after a while. So you just have to really go forth with this <laughs> and blend out as necessary. Okay, so I actually did apply a little bit of this foundation here into my neck also here into my ears just so that we have a nice even color all over and just like that it's a very beautiful color I actually do love this color 
and it just has a way of making me look that I have like you know tanned quite nicely and I'm also glad that it doesn't like you know there's no streaking of this foundation there's no like you know peeling which I actually appreciate because um, I just have to like you know as I've said because I don't have any moisturizer on so I wasn't really I was really worried that this might not slide on my face but I'm so happy that it did all right, so I have a thin layer on, but um, as you guys can see, it's just a little bit too yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring in my undertone, and I'm just going to use my foundation from Lisa Eldridge. This is in number 16, and I have a small amount of the foundation here. Well, let me get a little, just a very little amount, and let me just I can really buff it into the same brush that I used for the foundation, and I'm just going to use this here in my t-zone area in my under eye area and i'm just gonna buff it and try to blend them together because usually when i look into my skin i can see that in some parts you know taking the flatter parts of my body um, my green undertones do come out my olive tones do come out and then in the curves of my skin my golden tones do come out so i'm just trying to follow that so i'm just going to make sure that my olive tones come out here in this part of my face because that's where it usually does become quite evident and just like that I think that's a nice balance of color. I love it. All right, and now for my concealer, I'm going to be using my Secret Camouflage from Laura Mercier, and this is in SE4. As you guys can see, it's actually very well loved, and I was actually hoping to be able to get a new stock of this when I was in Paris, but I don't know what's up with Laura Mercier because um, their, you know, their counter in Sephora was severely diminished um, it was like it was not stocked properly and a lot of the products that i was looking for was not available and including this one so um i was actually quite surprised on how on, on why that was because um i wasn't expecting it to be um such because i could see um the brand actually like you know um, talk about their secret camouflage in their social media posts. So um, I was really disappointed about that. So I don't know what's happening with them. I know they're not with Shiseido now, so maybe that's why. But I don't know if there's a stocking issue with them. But because even here in the Philippines, like for years, this has not been available. So I don't know what's really going on with them. So I hope that they should really like, you know, level up their supplies because they are very good product line they're a very good brand so anyway enough about that so i'm actually not picking up a ton of the product here like you know just a very minute amount because this is like a high coverage um camouflage backslash concealer and i don't really need a lot of like you know concealer just enough to you know, get rid of the tiredness in my under eye area because i'm still jet lagging as we speak and let me just put a little bit of that here in this area okay so this is a very good product i have to say i really do hope that like, you know they restock on their makeup in their counters because if they don't stock up on their products in their counters um people may not celebrate them anymore so i don't want that to happen to them because i believe they're very very good and this has been one of my go-to brands ever since i started doing makeup all right, so I just have a few spots here that I would like to spot conceal. So let me get into that. If I can find my brush, where is it? Hang on. Found my concealer brush. And I'm just going to mix a little bit of these two colors together here on the mirror. And I'm just going to gently tap them on my spot. I actually developed this spot in Paris and I was so surprised on the location of this spot but I think it was from the irritation caused by my sunglasses because my sunglasses is from Uniqlo and there's like a plastic wrapping on it and I think it just started to um, degrade after being used for quite some time because it actually happened on like you know, the opposite sides of the bridge of my nose so that was just like really the culprit. Because I wasn't breaking out anywhere when I was in Paris. So I was like, what happened? 
Okay, and just a little bit here, the sides of the nose, and blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. And also this spot here. This is such an amazing product, you know, the Secret Camouflage. A little of this product really goes a long, long way. Okay, so that's concealer down. So now let's all play with the Givenchy Prism Liver Powders. So for a quick recap, if you didn't watch my travel haul, um, I actually bought three powders of the Givenchy Prism Libre. So I bought number three, number four, and number five. Now, um, this is a very small type of a packaging and you only get one gram of product for each of the powder here. So this is like four grams of product in this small like, you know, pot. All right, so first things first, the first color that I would like to show you guys is color number three, and this is in Voile Rose. So when you open it, you remove the cap, you twist it. Each of this actually comes with a powder puff or a velour puff, and you can actually use it if you want to. But anywho, so this is number three, Voile Rose, and it has a lot of rosy tones on the powders. I think one here is a little bit yellow. So that's actually perfect. So when it mixes together, it becomes a little bit neutral, which is actually great. And this, I believe, is great for people who have light to fair skin tones. So that's actually perfect. Okay, and the next color that I have here is color number four. And this is in Mousseline Acidule. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. And as you guys can see here, it has a green powder, a purple powder, a yellow powder, and this is a pinky powder so yeah so when this mixes all together it becomes a very neutral kind of a color but at least the great thing with this is that you can actually like you know try your very best to pop out more colors from a specific powder just so that you can adjust it to your tone or what you want it to um, um, achieve for yourself so i believe number four mousseline acidule is actually like you know good for people who have medium skin tones now looking at this powder it does remind me of the um Guerlain uh, meteorites but it's it's just like a different kind of a feel because um, the Guerlain meteorites you can also buy them in compact form um, if you so desire. Now the last powder that I have here is called Popeline Mimosa. Let me just open this and this one is actually good for people who have medium to deep skin tones. So you have more red tones here you still have yellows and this one looks to be a bit orangey. So it's actually quite nice. Now, um, this Prism Libre powders from Givenchy has six color ranges. So you have one that's very pastel -y, and then two for very, like, you know, light skin tones. And then you have three, four, five, and then you also have six, which is actually for people who have deeper skin tones. Now, um, I'm actually kicking myself because I should have bought all six. But then again, like, you know, money doesn't grow in trees. So um, maybe, maybe after playing around with this, I could get the colors that I would usually use when I am working and also on myself. I actually went to the Sephora.ph website because, um, like, you know, let me just tell you guys, we don't have a Sephora here in the Philippines, which is kind of sad. So I went to the Sephora Philippines website, and that is actually based in Singapore, and they only have four shades there. Shade number one, two, three, and four. And I think number four is the shade that I'm going to be using frequently, so I'm just so glad that that's available in Sephora Philippines online. So if ever I would need it, I can just get it at any time. Anyway, so let us try these powders on my face today so yes i'm going to try all three powders and what i'm going to do first is i'm going to try this voile rose this is shade number three and i'm just going to use this to set my under eye area so i'm just going to remove the powder puff and then i'm just going to put the cap on again and i'm just going to tap the color here on the cap and I'm just gonna remove it and we can see that we have quite a substantial amount of powder on the cap so this is usually how I like to uh, like you know pour um, loose powders I pour them on the cap and then I would use a brush and I'm just going to mix all the colors together and try to see if they will apply nicely in this area 
wow, it's actually quite pigmented for a loose powder, which is actually quite amazing. So I think, like, you know, um, I do see some people using the Prism Libre powders to bake. So I now understand why. Ooh, one other thing. It is highly fragranced. So um, does it smell rosy? I'm not familiar with the Givenchy perfume, so I don't know if this scent is part of their collection, but um, the scent is actually quite pleasant. It can be overpowering at first, but it dissipates, like, you know, as soon as you start to um, spread the powder. Yeah, it has a rosy hint to it. And it's like, you know, it's very different from the Guerlain Meteorites, where in the Guerlain Meteorites, to me, anyway, the violet scent there is very, although it's floral, but I, it's more, it's more delicate. This one was like, you know, pow. I did really like, you know, smell it as soon as I applied it on my um, under eye area near my nose. Okay, so it's actually quite brightening. It's just a little bit too white for me, but at least, um, I did approach this with caution, and that's the reason why I just applied it here in the inner portions of my face, just so that it adds more brightness there. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that stay there for a while, let it set, and let's try to see if it's going to work with me a little bit later on. Okay, and now let's try the shade number four. Um, Mousseline Acidule. So let's just tap a little bit of it here on the cap. And let's just lift it off. Okay, that was just way too little of product. So let's shake it and tap it some more. So this is how the product looks like on the cap. So when it gets dispersed, you get every single color on the cap. So um, the thing is, because the colors here are very different, I think I would have to transfer them into a palette. So let me just tap off the color here. And then I believe I would need to use a spatula for this. So let me just get my spatula. If I can find it. I'm a little bit off right now with <laughs> where my things are because I have to have been gone for so long. Um, even if it's only a month ago, sometimes it takes a while for you to get back into your rhythm. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just mixing all of the powders together. Okay, sorry about that. So you do really have to mix them together so that you, know, you don't have an uneven color application on the face, especially some of the powders are actually tinted. So let me just press some of that. Okay, so this is how the color of the powder looks like when they're all mixed together. Okay, so let's try to see if this is going to work for me because after all this is supposed to be for medium complexion and I fall somewhere in that, like in the cusp of medium. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to apply a little bit of this powder here in my under eye area. Ooh, I like this color. Okay. Okay, it's just a very skin-like kind of a color. It works very well with my skin tone today and it doesn't look thick on my face. So let me just buff everything out here in my under eye area, here on top of my cheeks, and maybe here on my nose. Okay, let me just pat, pat, pat. Okay, I'm being careful here in my nose area because I did apply some secret camouflage there and I don't want to buff that out. Oh, very interesting. Very nice finish. Love the shade. Very pretty. Okay, so I was actually initially quite surprised with this because when I picked this up in Sephora, I read the packaging and it says here, matte finish and enhanced radiance loose powder. So I was like, why is it matte and also radiance enhancing at the same time? So I do understand where they are getting at with this powder because it's not totally matte which is actually great so there's just a little hint of like you know radiance that peeks through which is uh kind of helpful sometimes with matte powders because if you overdo matte powders oh my gosh it can look very cakey so what i'm doing right now is i'm just like you know 
spot applying some of this powder here on my brow area because I get quite oily there very fast. And then I'm just going to buff a little bit of this here on my cheeks. Mmm. That's actually quite nice. I like that. Okay, I have the Buffer Pro brush from Sonia G and I'm just going to pick up some of the powder here and I'm just going to buff it into my skin. Am I seeing a change in tone in the foundation? Maybe just a little bit because it, it you know, toned down a little bit of the shine from the oil and things like that. But so far, so good. I am actually liking this powder. So this is the powder for me. If I'm going to choose this for myself and for my skin tone, it's going to be number four. And then, like, you know, I could just adjust as necessary. I can always, like, you know, add a translucent powder or a lighter shade of the Prism Libre powders to this number four powder and just adjust it as necessary. Okay, now I'm actually seriously <laughs> regretting the fact that I only got these powders in this smaller size because they're actually quite good. Okay, so even if it says in the packaging that it's like, you know, a little bit radiant, enhanced radiance loose powder, um, it's actually not super radiant, but you can see a softness um, going on in my skin. So there's like a halo of softness, like a soft focused look kind of a finish. And I, I'm actually quite surprised because sometimes when it gets soft focus, um, it can look like, you know, white cast. So I do like the fact that the tone of these powders actually, like, you know, um, look very nice. All right, so before we continue with the last powder, I just actually want to add some eyebrows on. So let's just zoom through that process, okay? Just a moment. Now, one other thing, I would like to apologize if you guys can hear this whirring sound. Um, the village maintenance guy has started to cut grass, and I'm actually quite surprised he's doing it at this time of the day because it's actually a little bit later in the afternoon when, like, you know, I'm making this video because um, this morning it was just way too hot. So I'm just even so grateful that it's cloudy today and maybe that's also the reason why he decided to cut grass at this time because it's actually not sunny so I do understand. So anyhow, this is beyond my control but what is in my control is actually trying the next powder, the last powder for this vlog and this is in the number 5 shade and this is called Popeline Mimosa and according to the packaging here, this is for medium to deep complexion. So if you have an even deeper skin tone then you should try the number six shade okay so let me just tap a little bit of the powder and let me just show you guys how it looks like oh look at that so i think i would need to transfer this again into the palette and i'm going to mix these shades together Ooh, look at that this is a very nice shade and i think we can use this as a bronzer okay so that's actually all mixed together now okay and i'm going to be using this brush for us today this is the koyudo kakiji buzome brush that i just got right before i left for europe and i'm going to use this like you know to add this powder in a bronze tour kind of a way and it's actually adding a very nice hint of warmth into my skin it's actually quite lovely. I was initially worried about this shade because I think it might be a little bit too orange, but it's actually not bad at all. It's giving a very nice warmth to my skin. So if you have deeper skin tones than I do, and you have like you know no very nice like you know, reddish undertones with your skin tone, also very nice and golden, I think this might work for you. Oh, it's actually quite pretty. So let me just get more and maybe add this here on my... Okay, let me get the bigger brush for this. Hang on. Okay, so I have now the Jumbo Bronzer and I'm just going to pick up this color all over the brush head and apply this all over my forehead. And maybe just a hint here on the bridge of my nose just for added warmth and here in my chin area. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the Voile Rose color. And with the brush that I used earlier, I'm just going to add some more of that powder here in this part of my cheeks. Because I think that can really help to brighten up that area and just really like, you know, open up my cheeks. Okay, and finally, let me just pick up whatever is left of this um Poplin Mimosa, did I get the name right? Yes, Poplin Mimosa, and I'm just going to apply 
that here all over my eyes so that we have this very nice subtle definition there it's a very nice hint of warmth so this is how all of the three prism libre powders from Givenchy looked like layered on my skin okay so what do you guys think do you guys approve i think these powders are amazing and as i said earlier i think i'm regretting not buying the bigger packaging for this because i think this is great look at that like, you know i was actually able to create this very nice like you know soft focus kind of a look using three powders now i'm actually regretting not getting shade number six which is the shade for deeper skin tones because i think i could use that for like you know deeper kind of a brown touring on my face and you know without the excessive shimmer of some bronzer so maybe i could use that but the main reason why i decided not to get that is because i rarely work with a lot of women who have like you know very deep skin tones here so that's a color that i won't be using and if i have that it might just like you know go to waste so what do you guys think do you like the prism libre powder so do you like the effect that it left on my face because i do love it i love that the it has this very nice like you know matte effect but not too matte which is actually nice especially if you are someone like me who has like you know um, oily skin i don't really like something that mattifies my face fully because that's not me and i don't really like it if my skin is super matte so this one like, and this is a very nice like you know very delicate radiance that i see on my skin which is actually very very pretty i do love it i do have to say and also one other thing i do have to say the powder did not add any form of additional coverage or even cakiness into the foundation that i used today because after all my foundation was the estee lauder double wear and of course by the way i did mix in a little bit of my lisa aldridge foundation and by the way i'm actually using some artificial light today in combination with natural light so this is how it really looks like on my skin and you know i love that if you guys can see here it's giving my skin a very nice even tone even if i use three different shades of this prism libre powder so at least we now know that it's actually very easy to mix them together and they just like you know mesh well together so i really really love that so that's it that's our vlog for today so if you have any more questions about all of the makeup products that i use today or even for the prism libre powders please leave them down in the comments box and let's have a conversation about it all right okay so i'm gonna let you guys go now thank Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being here and i hope that you're having a good day wherever you are bye <laughs>